Hello everyone, I just want to say before the video starts, um, as you can see here in YouTube Analytics, my watch time from subscribers in the last month has been only 2.7 from people that are subscribed, so if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel because it will help me out a lot. Thank you, and let's get on with the video. Hello guys, it's Mythological, and today I'm going to be showing a semi-automatic disc farm for Minecraft. So the way you get discs in Minecraft is a skeleton here kills a creeper, and that creeper will then drop a music disc. So the way people farm music discs, say they want a certain one or they want a lot of them to sell on an SMP, they will usually have a mob grinder that spawns all, all sorts of mobs, or just a creeper farm, come down into a tunnel, and then a name tag skeleton will shoot at those creepers and eventually drop a disc or so. But the problem with that is that you're only going to make a couple of discs an hour because for every creeper that drops, you're going to have to tart and make the skeleton shoot it without blowing up the creeper in survival. And also, you're not going to get many creepers in here. It's, it's just a big hassle. So people have came up with automatic farms you can use. Uh, Shulkercraft actually just released a video um, explaining how you can use a creeper only farm. This farm is not creeper only by the way, as you can see there's lots and lots of spiders. Um, but uh, you can use a creeper only farm, or just a farm like this to get creepers to fall into a tunnel and then just have a skeleton shoot an iron golem or a player and that will kill creepers much less faster giving you around 150 discs an hour but uh, me and my friend here have discovered a way to make a better farm using the concept that I can't remember who I credit to but I found it on r slash redstone of um, that a skeleton can hit a, a TNT with a flaming arrow and the way you get that flaming arrow is through the lava. But you can hit the TNT with a flaming arrow, have that TNT drop, and kill tons of creepers at once. So, I'll show you that. But first, let's, let's get some more uh, creepers. Also, um, this is not very efficient because it's not creeper only, but you can easily turn it into it. So just when you build this, you can industrialize it a bit more than a three layer farm, and also make it creeper only. But let's kill these spiders. As you can see, the creepers have an easier time falling in there. So now that we have a decent amount, let's go into our little tower. And you'll be in survival, by the way, so I'm just going to switch my game mode. And what happens... Oh. What happens is, the skeleton will be able to see you. And the reason there's these grindstones is because they have a specific size that allows the... Oh, and as you can see... Um, the skeleton hit us because the TNT is not there. So we place a TNT. You go against the grindstones. The skeleton can see us and he shoots a flaming arrow. He doesn't hit 100% of the time because you're standing next to it. But he'll hit us. As you can see, he's a bit off here. <laughs> he usually um, can hit us in a better time period than this. On now. There you go. As you can see, he hits the TNT. It blows up, and look at all those discs. So let's go check it out. Switch from game mode. Back into creative. You saw slimes and stuff. So if we come over here, we have a little collection system. And those discs all funnel from the hopper system into this chest, these hoppers, and then this. So. All these discs come from those creepers that have spawned from this farm, and then you just go over here and you let the skeleton hit a TNT, and this way you can farm mass amounts of music discs. But the way you're going to get these creepers in survival is after you make this farm, you're going to build this maybe 100 blocks away from your main base. So whenever you're doing something at your base, um, creepers will just start to spawn in, and every 30 minutes or so you can come over here and kill your 50 or so creepers. Uh, with the skeleton tactic, and you can get 50 discs every 30 minutes, so although that should be only 100 an hour, the spawn rates of creepers will vary, um, and also depending on how many layers you make, there could be more creepers spawning, so this is basically an expandable disc farm, and that I thought that was very cool. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys find this helpful, and also I can do a build tutorial, but I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, so uh, yeah, just comment if you want a build tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video.